From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Global Laboratory Testing, Inspection and Certification Group, Bureau Veritas Southern Africa's m and Laboratory Services, continues to evolve and develop as it streamlines and refines processes. Natasha Udendahl has a story. Based in Johannesburg, the laboratory's quality assurance remains a priority and is rigorously monitored to ensure alignment to global standards. Driven by robust and effective working methodologies, the company aims to ensure smooth and efficient turnaround times at both the Omonde facility and its sister laboratory in Brackenbell, Cape Town. The various laboratories on site provide a broad, complementary range of testing services, supported by experts with a wide range of qualifications from across the globe, vast experience and diverse skills. The lab was actually established in 1930. It was established as m &L Laboratories. Um, it was a privately owned lab uh, servicing the mining industry, in fact, the gold mining industry. It went through various phases, water, environmental, and then pharmaceutical food started at a later stage. And at that stage, Bureau Veritas, um, the holding group, actually bought the company. Um, there was a time where we went through quite a, um, a fire. We burnt the premises down, we rebuilt, um, and this is the new facility. It's been in operation for, for 12 years um, and going from strength to strength. During a tour of the Johannesburg facility, the team showcased the now wide range of services on offer. This includes product testing, inspection, certification and audit services across various industries, including pharmaceutical, microbiology, agriculture and water, besides others. The main pillar is pharmaceutical, but we've gone into these three pillars. We've got pharmaceutical, we've got food, we've got agricultural. And under agriculture is water, and that's actually quite exciting. Uh, we do a lot of work for, for mining, um, privately owned boreholes, um, industry. We also get into agricultural pesticide testing. We have a full micro laboratory uh, focusing on food safety. And then it's the importation of pharmaceutical products and obviously a safe safety element to that as well. The lab has also evolved and incorporated various technologies to fill the levels of detection required by customers. If you look at technology in terms of lab testing, we've gone from very traditional benchtop, um, slow processes, probably you know, quite inaccurate in the good old days, but now it's gone to very sensitive, um, very high-tech spec equipment uh, very capex intensive um, and it's it's to fulfill the the levels of detection that that people need in terms of going to very very low levels of let's say pesticides in, in produce being exported or for the mining industry picking up uh, metal contamination you need to go to very very low levels so the the instrumentation over years has changed tremendously um, in terms of AI um, very much so uh, from a sampling point of view machine learning, um, looking at defects, um, grading um, produce for export and in import, very, very important. And we can see the group going in that direction. The company is going in the right direction. Uh, we're definitely in the pillars of, of what is, is obviously the world is about. Uh, medicines, definite priority, food uh, and sustainability of food and sustainability of everything leading up to food is so important. And then agricultural, I mean, South Africa alone and Africa is, the, is really the breadbasket of, of the world. And we're in the right um, testing inspection certification industry or, or company to, to fulfill the, the safety and the quality needs of, of um, industry. Bureau Veritas operates across six global businesses, namely marine and offshore, agri-food and commodities, consumer products, building and infrastructure, certification and industry, supporting local protocols and strict international guidelines. Its commitment to customers is key and the company is constantly reinventing to ensure it meets customer demands, with sustainability at the core of the strategy as it continues to grow and develop. Further across Southern Africa, growth is being seen for the company. We are seeing a lot of interest within neighbouring countries for Southern Africa, which has been quite good over the last few years. Um, South Africa is also starting to make a, a comeback, which is good. 
Um, we're seeing within different segments, uh, specifically around sustainability, that's something we're targeting and we pride ourselves on. Um, that's also starting to, to show some good uptick for us. There's a lot of investment opportunities, um, specifically around the energy sector. So a lot of things are happening, it's still early stages, but obviously we get involved right from the onset, so there's a lot of investment going in there. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.